Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Baldwin number 09502640 uh, cabin door hook, uh, two and a half inch uh, is what they call this. Now this is a cabin door hook and if you've ever taken a sunset cruise or that sort of scenario or did some sightseeing on a boat in a city, um, yeah, you're going to see cabin hooks. Um, cabin hooks are used in applications where you have a very con confined area in which to mount something, and you generally need uh, a couple of points of articulation because of how the limitations of the area onto which you can install the material doesn't give you a straightforward sort of way to install like a shutter bar would be where it just comes down and latches. Um, so a cabin hook will allow you to articulate to account for the door, the fact that you've got a tiny door that you have to walk in sideways into and then an oblique wall sort of scenario. So in my mind, that's where, that's why cabin hooks are different than other surface mounted pieces of latching hardware like surface bolts or shutter bars um, or hook and eye. You know, it's basically a hook and eye in the sense that it has that freedom of movement, but it's a refined piece of, you know, architectural hardware. This cabin hook is in a 264 finish, and in Baldwin speak, that is satin chrome. Well, in Baldwin speak, that is actually solid brass in a satin chrome finish. We're going to remove it from the packaging here and take a closer look. Now, I am quite sure that you'd be able to find a cabin hook. Uh, cabin hooks located in very, uh, very old catalogs by a variety of manufacturers. I cannot think of having seen it in a Yale catalog from, you know, 1889. Um, it very likely is in there. Um, I don't know if I have any old Baldwin catalogs, uh, even though they've certainly made these cabin hooks since for 30 years, probably since 1990, and likely since the inception of you know, the manufacturing hardware. Uh, Baldwin goes back uh, quite some ways. So with this cabin hook, you'll not only um, have that multiple point of articulation, as you can see, okay, giving you that freedom to be able to secure something in however you're looking to secure it. Um, you know, obviously holding something open uh, is crucial um, in that application of a boat because of how the boat is going to of course not stay still continue to move rock forward etc etc so being able to keep something positioned and secured or latched down is the crucial part um, it's going to include screws now this as I said earlier is going to be made of solid brass that is indeed the case I don't see anything ferrous on this at all Okay, the screws are not, they're ever so slightly magnetic, which tells me that they're possibly stainless steel. Now, I don't know that, um, but stainless will exhibit very minor amounts of magnetism when it's not been passivated. Um, when, when stainless is machined, it, it, it exhibits some small magnetism, ma magnetic property. Um, the point of putting the magnet on there to determine that it's not steel. So as a result, we must be very cautious when it comes to pre-drilling our holes. You don't want to, not knowing what this material is um, as a base material, you're going to want to be careful to pre-drill that hole very correctly so as to not strip or literally shear the screw off. Now. It could be that these are made of solid brass and that chrome type plating on there is what is causing that small amount of magnetism, but I don't know that. Um, so we have to assume that this is a soft material, is, is, the, is the purpose of the exercise. Now the two and a half inch, and there is uh, information down below, let's, let's switch to the uh, screen view so we can take a look at the extended description information, but before we do that, the two and a half inch is coming from the the axis of pivoting on the on the on the mounting point itself here all the way down to the center line of the hook itself so that's where two and a half inch is coming into play 
Okay, we'll we'll hit the the dimensional properties when we come back to the camera view. So here is the item that we're looking at, a generic image here from the factory. Select options are here. This is out of their full line catalog. Um, this image probably hasn't changed, has not changed in decades. So that A dimension is our two and a half inch, as you can see. And we'll test and check the balance of the dimensions, the B and the C dimension, um, when we come back to the video. Uh, images of what the finish would look like um, as best as possible. But the point of this is the link to the more from Baldwin link here, which is a link to the manufacturer's page from within our website. And that link will allow us to get to um, encyclopedic resource documents. So first of all, uh, we have the Baldwin product catalog. And I don't know if cabin hooks are in this catalog. Baldwin has substantially over the last, you know, two, three decades branched out into many other areas. At one point it was, you know, Baldwin was a much more straightforward product line with their estates line. So there, that product catalog does not show that, but I have this Baldwin estate specifications and price list. Maybe general hardware. Let's let's try that. Yeah. Okay. So this catalog has it, and that document's over ten years old at this point. So they do show the 0950, and, and the purpose of this exercise is to show you that there is that there are three sizes of this unit available. Okay. You've got the two and a half inch 0950. We've got the three and a half inch 0951, and then the five and a half inch 0952. That's quite large, uh, but the rest of the dimensions are there. The XXX in the part number simply means finish, and you then have to um, indicate the finish. In this case, it's 264, complete with wood screws. These are actually oval head threaded to the head. Um, I mean, I would call them a sheet metal screw myself. They're not, they're not wood screws because it's threaded to the head. But nonetheless, it'll be appropriate for a wood application, which certainly is what you're doing. Um, that link to the manufacturer's page has, a, has other catalogs because of how they've branched out. Um, you know, a, a helpful link is the Baldwin product templates that are here. And while that's Oh, that's just a link back to the manufacturer's page. Okay, well, that's good. I believe we also have the template book uh, here, which is a pretty epic size document. And we've got that document loaded. Um, it's, it's only 95 pages, but it does contain lots of templates for your review. I would think a faster way to obtain a particular template based on a part number would be going to the link in the manufacturer's, back to the manufacturer's catalog. Um, let's see, estate specifications and price list. Yeah, the 0950. apparently does not occur in too many places. But if you know the name Baldwin, you do probably for their estates line, their high-end line of architectural hardware. Now, speaking of archival catalogs, I thought that I had one. This one's from 1976. And I don't know how long Baldwin has been in business, uh, but this is a, it's more of a, a, a product brochure is really what it is, showing some of their mortise locks. But it's interesting to be able to look back in time and see what they did. Um, did then. So let's switch back to the camera view, take some dimensions, and then finish up this video. So we we confirmed our A dimension was two and a half inch. We showed the other sizes that were available. And it's a unique hook, there's no doubt. That's definitely a cabin hook. So then they tell us that our 
hook plate is inch and an eighth tall, which indeed it is, that it is um, 27 30 seconds wide, 0.84 inch. Okay, so basically 13 sixteenths. Projection of the unit, of the of the staple, so to speak, is about 9 sixteenths. Nice tight fit in there as well, and that's nice because the there, there's 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 practically zero movement inside of here, and that's part of it being a cabin hook. There, you're you are latching something down so that it does not move is the, is the purpose of the cabin hook. This does a great job at doing that. An overall dimension, if we were to lay it out all flat, looks like it's about three and a, about three and a sixteenth or so. Okay. Finally, uh, I'm partial to Baldwin uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I'm a firm believer in the quality of the product line. I am asked relatively often what decorative residential hardware should be used, and there are many people who supply it. There are um, what I would consider low-end or just low-end material that you would use in a residential application. You can upgrade that and go to a commercial manufacturer that may have some decorative material available. You can then go to your Omnias and your Mtex, which make a nice looking piece of product. Um, what I don't love about those products is I find that the availability of replacement parts to be less than instantaneous. Um, after that, and this is just my grading system, after that, I go to Baldwin. Um, Baldwin, I find um, that the material is generally in stock. It is my opinion that the Baldwin quality, the caliber of the material, the fit and finish, is above all the previously mentioned, backed by exceptional technical support. So great quality, availability, exceptional technical support. Baldwin does a phenomenal job at servicing the product. I have called the factory many times, and every single time, either the person who answers the phone or the person in technical support is able to give me a correct, accurate response right then and there, every time. I was looking for, I have a client in either Virginia or South Carolina, I forget, uh, but that the Southeast uh, part of the United States historical colonial home built in the 19th century and they had a Baldwin mortise lock installed that would have been from the mid 1970s which we discovered during the conversation the client a, a spring broke you know and after five decades of use the spring a spring in the mortise case broke okay acknowledged we needed the spring this lock Body. I've never even seen it um, because I didn't start working with Baldwin until 1990. Um, called technical support. The person that I spoke to asked me, well, does it have a blue case on the cover? And I says, it does. I'm looking right at the photographs. <laughs> he said, in 1977 or 1976, I was working on the line manufacturing those locks. I could have made that lock. Um, and the moral of the story was, because of the intimate, familiar knowledge of that tech support rep, he was able to say, okay, that, yeah, that spring is not available, but I know for sure that this spring is going to work. Sent the client a no-charge replacement spring. Done. Did not have to buy a new mortise lock altogether. And I've had that experience with Baldwin more than once. Um, images was a line of theirs that they discontinued. And their latch bolts, I have people call and say that they need an image, images latch bolt. I don't have any. Um, but because of that experience with Baldwin, tell the customer to call me, we'll get their address, and we'll send them out a no-charge replacement. You know, After Baldwin, you get into boutique manufacturers, uh, people that make, ex you know, where a, where a pair of knobs has a list price of $500, and the material is quite exquisite. There's no question. So it's either low-end, your MTech Omnia, Baldwin, and then boutique. And in my opinion, when you take the advantages of Excellent technical support, availability, and quality and fit and finish. Baldwin is always the choice that I make when it comes to not only recommending uh, a residential line to, to my clients, but in my personal life.
Any questions on the 0950 and a 264 finish cabin door hook or any other Baldwin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.